Hello. This is the Cambridge Flyers practice listening test. Test 3. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. This is a good photo. Did you take it? Yes, I did. It's a picture of my school friends on the river in London. We had an excellent day. Is that woman in the boat your teacher? The one who's wearing a hat? Yes. Her name's Sarah. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Look at the swans. Aren't they lovely? And that's your friend, David, isn't it? Yes, he's giving them some bread. He didn't fall in the river, did he? It's dangerous to stand up in a boat. No. <laughs> And can you see May? Is she the girl next to your teacher? No. She's in the other boat, sitting next to the boy. Oh, I see her. Why does she look so unhappy? She had a stomachache because she ate too much ice cream. And who's that? The boy with the flag in his hand. That's Richard. Oh. Has he got a rucksack on his back, too? That's right. And that's Harry. He's writing a postcard. It's easy to see him. Why? Because he always wears that red football shirt. Every day? His mum washes it sometimes, I think. And look! There's Emma. Where? Sitting on the grass. She's putting the picnic things on the blanket. Oh, yes. Was the picnic the best part? No. We all enjoyed everything. Now listen to part one again. Look at the swans. Aren't they lovely? And that's your friend, David, isn't it? Yes. He's giving them some bread. He didn't fall in the river, did he? It's dangerous to stand up in a boat. No. <laughs> and can you see May? Is she the girl next to your teacher? No. She's in the other boat, sitting next to the boy. Oh, I see her. Why does she look so unhappy? She had a stomachache because she ate too much ice cream. And who's that? The boy with the flag in his hand. That's Richard. Oh. Has he got a rucksack on his back, too? That's right. And that's Harry. He's writing a postcard. It's easy to see him. Why? Because he always wears that red football shirt. Every day? His mum washes it sometimes, I think. And look, there's Emma. Where? Sitting on the grass. She's putting the picnic things on the blanket. Oh, yes. Was the picnic the best part? No. We all enjoyed everything. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Mum, can
Can we have a party for Dad's birthday? Oh, yes. That will be nice. But it must be a secret. All right. But when shall we have it? It's his birthday on Tuesday, but that isn't a good day for a party. How about Sunday? OK. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. We can have the party in the evening. The afternoon will be better, Peter, because you have to go to school on Monday. All right. What time can we have the party then? Half past three, I think. OK. How many people can come? Twenty? Not that many. Just the family and a few of Dad's friends. I'll make enough food for twelve people. Can you make a big square cake? And it must be green. That's Dad's favourite. I'll try. But you must help me too. There will be a lot of things to do. OK. Give me something to do now. Shall I tidy the dining room? No, you don't need to do that, because we can eat outside in this lovely weather. So, can you please tidy the garden? That sounds boring. I know, but we want everything to look nice, don't we? Yes, you're right. What present shall I get him? How about some new gloves? He needs some for his golf, and he's lost his old ones. But that will be expensive. Well, I'll give you some money. But you must cut the grass first. OK. Now listen to part two again. We can have the party in the evening. The afternoon will be better, Peter, because you have to go to school on Monday. All right. What time can we have the party, then? Half past three, I think. OK. How many people can come? Twenty? Not that many. Just the family and a few of Dad's friends. I'll make enough food for twelve people. Can you make a big square cake? And it must be green. That's Dad's favourite. I'll try. But you must help me, too. There will be a lot of things to do. OK. Give me something to do now. Shall I tidy the dining room? No, you don't need to do that, because we can eat outside in this lovely weather. So, can you please tidy the garden? That sounds boring. I know, but we want everything to look nice, don't we? Yes, you're right. What present shall I get him? How about some new gloves? He needs some for his golf. And he's lost his old ones. But that will be expensive. Well, I'll give you some money. But you must cut the grass first. OK. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Lucy's dad had problems on the first day in his new office. Where were all his things? How was your day at college today, Dad? Oh, I had so much to do, Lucy. I had to move all my things to my new office, and everything was in the wrong place. I needed my phone to speak to one of the teachers, and I looked everywhere for it. Where was it? I found it under my chair. Can you see the letter G? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. I couldn't find my sandwiches because someone put a heavy book on top of them. Oh dear. Yes, I didn't want to eat them after that. So I had a pizza in the college cafe for my lunch. What other problems did you have? Well, some students came in and asked me for some glue, but I couldn't find it in my desk. I found it later in my bin with some other things. That was good.
I needed my scissors to cut some paper for a lesson in the afternoon, but I lost them too. Then someone found them in a big brown envelope with my address on it. Oh, what a day. It sounds terrible. And guess what? What? I lost all the examination questions too. One of the teachers came in and asked me for them. I must be more careful in the future because they're very important. They were under some magazines. Dad? By four o'clock, I had a bad headache. I'm not surprised. I went to get some medicine, but it wasn't in its place on the shelf. Then I found some in the cupboard with the tea and coffee. I took some and then left early and went swimming. I felt better after that. Good. It's always difficult to find things in a new room. Now where's my pen? Now listen to part three again. I couldn't find my sandwiches because someone put a heavy book on top of them. Oh dear. Yes, I didn't want to eat them after that. So I had a pizza in the college cafe for my lunch. What other problems did you have? Well, some students came in and asked me for some glue, but I couldn't find it in my desk. I found it later in my bin with some other things. That was good. I needed my scissors to cut some paper for a lesson in the afternoon, but I lost them too. Then someone found them in a big brown envelope with my address on it. Oh, what a day. It sounds terrible. And guess what? What? I lost all the examination questions too. One of the teachers came in and asked me for them. I must be more careful in the future because they're very important. They were under some magazines. Dad? By four o'clock, I had a bad headache. I'm not surprised. I went to get some medicine, but it wasn't in its place on the shelf. Then I found some in the cupboard with the tea and coffee. I took some and then left early and went swimming. <laughs> I felt better after that. Good. It's always difficult to find things in a new room. Now where's my pen? That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. How are they going to go to the airport? Is Dad going to take us in the car to the airport tomorrow, Mom? It's expensive to leave the car there. We'll go in a taxi. That's a lot of money, too. Can't we go on the bus? No, we have too much to carry. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. How many suitcases will they take? Are we going to take all the suitcases? No, I don't want to take the big green one. It's too heavy. You and I will have one each, and Dad will take two. So that's four. No, five. Don't forget your brother's suitcase. 2. What time does the plane leave? And when does the plane leave? Did you say half past 12? Oh, you ask so many questions, Paul. No, a quarter past. And we have to be there one hour before that, at 11.15? That's right. 3. Where will the family have lunch? Will they give us some lunch on the plane, Mom? They don't have lunches on this plane. We'll take some sandwiches and eat them at the airport. Can't we have lunch at the hotel? 
You'll be hungry before that. 4. What must Mum remember to put in her bag? And have you got the dictionary and all the money we need? Yes. Everything is ready, Paul. How about the torch? We might need that at night. There might be snakes or spiders there. Oh, I forgot that. I must remember to put one in my bag. 5. What will Paul wear tomorrow? So, Paul, are you all ready? How about your clothes? Are they all in your bag? Yes, but not my jeans and best sweater. I'm going to wear them tomorrow. You'll be too hot in those. Wear your new shorts and t-shirt. But they're at the bottom of my bag. Oh, all right. I'll get them. I can't wait to leave. Now listen to part four again. One. How many suitcases will they take? Are we going to take all the suitcases? No, I don't want to take the big green one. It's too heavy. You and I will have one each, and Dad will take two. So that's four. No, five. Don't forget your brother's suitcase. Two. What time does the plane leave? And when does the plane leave? Did you say half past twelve? Oh, you ask so many questions, Paul. No, a quarter past. And we have to be there one hour before that, at 11.15? That's right. 3. Where will the family have lunch? Will they give us some lunch on the plane, Mom? They don't have lunches on this plane. We'll take some sandwiches and eat them at the airport. Can't we have lunch at the hotel? You'll be hungry before that. 4. What must Mum remember to put in her bag? And have you got the dictionary and all the money we need? Yes. Everything is ready, Paul. How about the torch? We might need that at night. There might be snakes or spiders there. Oh, I forgot that. I must remember to put one in my bag. 5. What will Paul wear tomorrow? So, Paul, are you all ready? How about your clothes? Are they all in your bag? Yes, but not my jeans and best sweater. I'm going to wear them tomorrow. You'll be too hot in those. Wear your new shorts and t-shirt. But they're at the bottom of my bag. Oh, all right. I'll get them. I can't wait to leave. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Hello, Sally. Would you like to colour some of this picture now? Yes. Is this little girl dancing? That's right. What shall I do first? How about her pocket? Colour it pink. That's a nice colour. OK. Can you see the pink pocket? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw and write. 1. The baby looks happy. He's laughing at his sister. <laughs> You're right. Can you see his spoon? The one on the floor? No, the one in his hand. Colour it blue. All right. 2. And can I draw something too? Yes. 
Can you see the dog behind the father's chair? Um, I can just see his face. Well, draw a bowl in front of him. For his dinner? That's right. Then colour it red. OK. Three. Their dad is reading. Can I colour his newspaper? What colour will be best, do you think? Grey? No, I prefer yellow. That's my favourite colour. Is that OK? Yes, that's fine. Good. Four. Now, can you write something, please? All right. I'm ready. What do you want me to write? Can you see the big box by the wall? Yes. Please write toys on it. That's easy. OK. Five. Can I use orange? I haven't used that colour yet. Yes, of course you can. Can you see the drum on the floor? Colour that. The cat's sitting on it. That's right. OK. And have we finished now? Yes, we have. Good. Now listen to part five again. One. The baby looks happy. He's laughing at his sister. <laughs> You're right. Can you see his spoon? The one on the floor? No, the one in his hand. Colour it blue. All right. Two. And can I draw something too? Yes. Can you see the dog behind the father's chair? Um, I can just see his face. Well, draw a bowl in front of him. For his dinner? That's right. Then colour it red. OK. Three. Their dad is reading. Can I colour his newspaper? What colour will be best, do you think? Grey? No, I prefer yellow. That's my favourite colour. Is that OK? Yes, that's fine. Good. Four. Now, can you write something, please? All right. I'm ready. What do you want me to write? Can you see the big box by the wall? Yes. Please write toys on it. That's easy. OK. Five. Can I use orange? I haven't used that colour yet. Yes, of course you can. Can you see the drum on the floor? Colour that. The cat's sitting on it. That's right. OK. And have we finished now? Yes, we have. Good. That is the end of the Flyers Practice Listening Test 3.